Hello world, it is Fancy Ellie here tonight on Transcending Origins. This week's topic is actually a two-parter. Um, the first part is to talk about times when you really just wanted to throw in the towel and what got you through it. Um, this not just specifically with transitioning, but with uh, other things in your life as well. And the second part is to talk ab about what you would like to have as a battery in your life. Something as a kind of a symbolic battery that could to keep you going at the times where you really don't want to keep going. And this could be something you already have in your life, or this could be just a person, place, thing, anything. Um, and how would you refuel that battery? Well, to start off with, for the um, times I wanted to throw the towel, there has been lots of times in my life where I've just wanted to give up. Um, and I think, I mean, this is pretty common with a lot of transgender people who kind of uh, experience, like, personal struggles with their transgenderism. But, I mean, there's been other times in my life where it's just been kind of other things as well. But I think back, like, um, a few years ago, uh, I nearly had a mental breakdown. It was in part due to the transgender stuff, um, but also, I think, uh, due to some conflicting medications I was on at the time, I was feeling so distant from reality. Um, the uh, the uh, physician I was getting prescribed from kind of didn't look at her um, little uh, medicine book, I guess, when she was prescribing me these medications. So, excuse me. But it wound up um, really kind of uh, biting me in the butt at the time, and I really just kind of lost sight of a lot of things in my life. Um, and I wound up actually at the hospital, and they had this big intervention with my family. They uh, came in, they were talking to me individually, and uh, my friend Helen, she was really just, I mean, I was, at the time, I was really kind of rude to her because of how out of it I was, and she still decided to take an effort, take an initiative to really kind of make sure that my recovery was going okay. And my sister Stephanie wound up actually paying off some of the debt that I had at the time, and she was just kind of keeping tabs on me. Everybody was keeping tabs on me at that time. And I, there's been other times where, like, with my college, I, I was originally going for chemistry and physics before I decided to switch to an art school for web design. Uh, and I was just sucking at school. I really was doing pretty poorly, and, I mean, I have really bad ADD. Um, if you believe in ADD or not, I don't know. I, I have a problem focusing, regardless. Uh, anyways, uh, I was just struggling so much with college that um, I, I was going nowhere real fast. <laughs> every quarter, every semester, I was getting really bad grades, and my uh, roommates at the time, my, my two closest friends, um, uh, CJ and Helen, they sat me down and they kind of had a little bit of an intervention with me saying what can we do to actually uh, help you along to make sure that you get on the path that's right for you and is this path actually the right one for you and ultimately I determined that it wasn't the right path for me. I think a lot of the time in my life that I've been wanting to throw in the towel has not so much been because I'm on the right path but because I'm on the wrong path or doing it the wrong way. Um, and the things that have really kind of pulled me through it has been the support system that I've developed throughout the years. And some of the support system I was kind of uh, pre-naturally given um, in regards to my family. Um, Preternaturally given or pre-naturally, whatever. Um, I was, my family's really big and s there's a, every member of my family really has a lot of concern for one another. And then my friends that I've, that I've uh, gained throughout the years, they, I, every friend that I've gained has so much care and concern for me. And I think that's really something to kind of uh, strive for if you don't have it, because that's in the end going to be the thing that's going to pull you through, is how close you are to your friends and how well of a, how good of a support system you have. I know it can be a real tough challenge if you're all by yourself, and it's really important to try to make that effort, make that uh, focus in your life to get a good support system in whatever ways you can, whether it be like through some friend finding website or some or whatever else through YouTube here with the other transgendered individuals. As for a battery in my life, I already have one. Um, it's my roommate Helen. She, anytime I need motivation, well, it just whether I want it or not, she is there on the ball every day trying to help me out with, help me get along with what I need to get done. And I, I mean, wh whether I'm thinking about it or not, all these elements of my life she is thinking about. She is, I mean, like, one of the most conscious person, people I've ever met. And it's surprising, but she is my battery. She keeps me going every day. Um, and uh, how, how to refuel her? She refuels herself. 
Um, but that's, I think that's in part due to the fact that we're roommates right now. We're living, we're living with each other. We see each other every day. It's just easy for her to kind of keep keep the tabs on me and keep me uh, keep me going. Um, I really feel that um, you know that it's a really important thing to get have a close friend in your life, whether it be you know several a group of close friends or a single close friend. These are the things to me that really. No matter how shitty I'm doing, it is the thing that pulls me through every day. And um, I, I also, I think to some extent, another thing here that um, that I'm not really talking about is that I have I'm fairly absent-minded. I mean, like I'm kind of pleasantly aloof at all times. So I'm basically only aware of the good things most of the time. And my friends kind of tease me about it, but and maybe it's this is because I'm sort of a defense mechanism that I developed over the years. But it's a pretty damn good one. I mean, I am always really happy. Um, and so I don't really have these times anymore where I'm kind of uh, on the fritz. And I think to a large extent, too, it's just because I'm on the right path. I'm on the right path. I feel good about myself. I'm absent-minded and have a really good support system. So I think that kind of sums up those questions. Um, I hope I answered that, this uh, question okay. It's, it's, kind of, it's kind of a more ambiguous topic, I think, than uh, a lot of the other ones that we've answered. But... Um, yeah, good night YouTube.